Hello, welcome to Community Checkup. I'm Kim Sharp. If I say healthcare reform, what comes to your mind? Your answer might depend on your own health, the health of family members, maybe your political leanings, but we are not going there. Where we are going, I hope, is to a better understanding of what healthcare reform is all about. Here to help us understand healthcare reform is Karen Spink, who is a special projects manager with the Health District of Northern Larimer County, and Brenda Cordell, who's with the University of Colorado Health. Brenda negotiates contracts with health insurance plans, which is definitely a job I don't want. <laughs> Thanks for being with me today. I'm sure in your job, you totally have to understand all things healthcare reform. Can you start us off and help us understand the big changes that have already taken place under the Affordable Care Act? Sure, sure. There have been a few changes that we're excited about, one being that preventive services are covered. So for example, colonoscopies, mammographies, pap smears, that sort of thing are covered at 100%, which is guaranteed with all health plans in our country. Um, also, um, children dependents who are up to the age of 26 also will be covered now. And then pre-existing conditions will not be a barrier to coverage anymore. And then of course we've got the latest mandate, which is the buzz all around now, is the health insurance exchanges. And Karen, that's where your work comes into play. Why don't you tell us about that? Sure. I know it's been keeping you extremely busy. It has. So Connect for Health Colorado is the new online marketplace where individuals, families, and small businesses can shop for health insurance. And it's the only place where people can get exclusive new tax credits and financial assistance to reduce the cost of their premiums and co-pays. So this marketplace opened up on October 1st, and we have been open to serving clients in person in Larimer County. The Connect for Health uh, Colorado website is a place where anybody can go and shop. They can shop online. There is a support network that is available across Colorado where people can call in to the Connect for Health Colorado's customer support center and get on the phone help. There's also online chat. And then there's a network of health coverage guides and certified health coverage guides and certified agents and brokers throughout the state that are available to help people in person with their applications. And how many of those assistance sites do we have in Larimer County? So the health district has five sites, five permanent sites that they are operating out of in Larimer County. And then we will also offer mobile enrollment events throughout the entire county as well. Explain that, what's a mobile enrollment event? A mobile enrollment event would be where we go on site to a host agency that may be more familiar to where um, their clients are used to coming so that we can provide that in-person assistance in a different location and perhaps at better hours for people who may not be able to come into one of our assistance sites during normal business hours. Okay. Um, Brenda, what do you think about these sites and will that impact the work that you do when you negotiate the contracts? I don't know if it'll necessarily impact our contract negotiation, but one thing I'm excited about is this is an unbiased resource. So as a healthcare provider, um, one thing I wanted to be sure that everyone was aware of is not every provider is going to be contracted with every plan on the Colorado Health Insurance Exchange. So be really aware and look that up. Work with your advocates, with your guides, and um, they're going to help you select the plan that fits right the best for you, either financially and also to make sure you're going to the provider that you want to go to and mm -hmm. the hospital that you want to go to. Okay. Um, Karen, help me understand, if I feel savvy enough, I could go online and compare plans and do shopping without any kind of assistance, is that right? That's correct, although right now until November 1st, there, there are pieces of the process where you will actually need to call the Connect for Health um, Colorado's customer support network in order to finish the financial application and then also to fully enroll in a plan. And sometime in November that process will be fully automated and so individuals can do it on their own and if they get stuck along the way they have many options of where they can go to get help. And what would be the advantages of going to an assistance site? When someone comes into an assistance site they will be able to get individualized help looking at what their unique family situation or individual situation is and help them understand 
what are some of the things that they need to think about when they're looking at the different health insurance plans. So like Brenda said, looking at if somebody has a, a provider that they want to stick with, then looking at the provider list to see who they are contracted with. Also prescription drugs, making sure that if there are particular drugs that someone needs to have for their condition, that it's available within those plans. So they can help through that process. They can also just help with the technical aspects of filling out the application online and moving through the process. Is there a certain date by which people have to purchase health insurance? Yes, there is. And there's actually a couple of really important dates that people need to remember. One being that if they purchase their health insurance by December 15th, their coverage will start on January 1st. The other important date is that people need to have their coverage purchased by March 14th of 2014 in order to avoid any penalties. Penalties? Uh, what kind of penalties are we talking about? So with the Affordable Care Act, one piece of that is the individual mandate where everyone needs to have health insurance. And if they don't, then there may be some penalties assessed. And those penalties in the first year are $95 per adult or 1% of their gross income, whichever is more. And those rates do go up year by year. Can I make a quick point on that? Absolutely. Just to, just to outline, some people may look, do the math, and say, well, 1% of, of my income, that's going to be cheaper than the premiums, possibly. If you do not have health insurance, you will be responsible for 100% of your medical bills, which are going to be significantly more, potentially, than if you actually paid the monthly premiums and any deductibles that might apply. Okay. How are you reaching out to people to let them know this important information, like especially the invincible young adults who may not think, you know, we're, I'm healthy, I'm young, I don't need insurance. Sure, and I think there's a lot of people out there that are like that, and, and we can't predict when someone might have an accident or have a health condition that was completely unexpected. So we are doing several things. The Health District just um, published their Compass newsletter that was going out to residents in the northern two-thirds of Larimer County. And we are also doing, all of our guides are trained to do outreach and education, so we are going out wherever we can to get the word out about what's available. I will be going to um, Colorado State University for presentations, particularly to that student population, to help them understand their health options. And CSU provides a student health insurance plan, but some people may not be eligible for that, and so we just want to make sure that everyone knows where they can go to access affordable health coverage. Right. Well, I'm really curious to see what one of these storefront assistance sites looks like. So let's go on over to the one in Old Town Fort Collins and check that out. Great. All right, so here we are. This is our main location located in Old Town Fort Collins. It's at 144 North Mason Street. Hi, welcome to Larimer Health Connect. Do you have an appointment? No, did I need one? Well, actually it probably is best to make an appointment. However, sometimes we do have same day appointments and I think we are in luck today. Right. So I'll go ahead and sign in. Yes, please. So Karen, I parked in the parking garage directly behind this space. Is that a good choice? That's actually the perfect place to park. If you come in and you're in here for more than an hour, we are able to give you a voucher ticket so that you can good. get an additional hour of free parking. Good, all right. So I will take you back to Irma Linda, who will be your certified health coverage guide today. This is quite the experience here today because it feels really complicated to get online and do this on my own. So I'm really glad that I have your help. Um, should I have brought anything with me today? I'm feeling a little unprepared. Well, don't worry about it. Um, what we usually ask um, clients to bring in would be their social security card or numbers, mm -hmm. um, their income documentation, um, any of your, if you have your W-2, your pay stubs, your address information, and if you have current health care coverage, um, if you have your insurance card, that would be also great so, to bring in. So it's okay if I'm here and I already have health insurance? Yes, definitely. All right. So who should use these kinds of assistance sites? Who's, who are the customers? The marketplace mostly benefits people who are underinsured, uninsured, and people that do not have access to affordable health care through their employer. We could actually also help clients see if they qualify for CHP Plus and Medicaid through the new federal, federal poverty limits that are raising in 2014. All right. It, what if I'm on Medicare? I'm not. I'm not that old yet, but uh, what if I were? 
you don't have to worry about coming here. Okay, great. Um, well, let's let's check out the online process here. Sure. This is our Connect for Health Colorado site. Um, as you can see here, we have different icons that you could go into. We have individual and families, young adults, employees, and employers. We will go ahead and focus on individual and families um, for your health care coverage. What you would want to do is go ahead and go into Shop Now. And so at this page, we'll be able to see if you qualify for financial assistance. So if I can't afford health insurance, I might be able to get some help doing that? Yes. Okay. So if you would like, we could go ahead and just place our zip code. And we do want to see if we qualify or if you qualify for financial assistance. And go ahead and place continue. We'll just be asked a couple of questions to see if you're eligible for assistance. And how many are in your household? Well, I'm just interested in looking at health insurance for myself today. Great. So go ahead and press, press save and continue. All right. And at this point, you just want to place in your first name, okay. the month of your birth, and the year of your birth. You really have to put the year? Yes. Okay. There we go. Uh, got it. Now you all and, know. Um, this is very important. Um, it'll ask if you're a male or female, and you could go ahead and click there. All right, hopefully that's evident. There we go. And this next question is actually going to be for any young adult from ages eight on up, um, if you are pregnant. Thankfully, no. Okay, and go ahead and place um, save and continue. Okay. Um, here as well, it'll ask you if you have any disabilities, if you've used tobacco in the last six months, if you've been incarcerated, if you're in incarceration status, and if you're American Indian, Alaska Native status. No. Great, and we do need to know more or less what you think your um, annual income will be or was in 2012. Oh, okay, and keep in mind that for financial assistance, it does go up to 400% of federal poverty level. So this is letting you know here that you are qualified for individual and family plans. So um, it does not give you the financial assistance that we were looking for, but that's still okay because we're still on the marketplace mm -hmm. and they still have great um, premiums for you to look at. And we'll go ahead and place, uh, find a plan. And then we'll go ahead and continue. We're actually going to just browse for health insurance. Are there other types of insurance that I could look for? There is, but in order to check to see if you have dental or for dental oh. coverage, you would have to create an account. I see. All right. And at this screen, this will show you um, basically all of your options that you would have to go through the marketplace. It actually shows you on this screen what your deductible per person would be and your um, deductible annual max cost would be. Mm -hmm. How many insurance providers are on the marketplace? In Northern Limerick County, we actually have six providers and 25 different plans. Well, that's a lot to choose from. Yes. And I was advised earlier to make sure that if I have my own family physician or if I have a preferred hospital that I want to use to make sure that they're covered under the plan that I'm looking at. Definitely. We could actually look for a provider, oh, good. your own provider. Oh. Okay, so it'll be one or the other. I see. Okay. All right. Well, let's do the hospital. And it's, it'll show you right here where, which hospitals. Um, we have course one hospital sure. here in, in Fort Collins and then we have um, Medical Center of the Rockies in Loveland and so then we'd want to go ahead and select the provider and back to the plan list and basically since we only have one hospital here in Fort Collins all of the insurances would be able to cover through that hospital. Okay well, Irma Linda, how long would this process typically take? Because I'm kind of on a time frame today and I don't know that I have the full amount of time. But if I make an appointment and come back, how long should I plan to sit with you? We usually ask, and it all depends on how extensive you want to get into it. If you want to go ahead and do everything at one visit, we would ask about an hour and a half. It could be less, um, but usually about an hour to an hour and a half. And does it cost anything for me to use your assistance? Absolutely not. Well, that's good to know. 
All right. Well, thank you so much You're for so your welcome. help today. It's been really great to get a, a tour of the website. You're very welcome. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I want to thank the sponsor of today's show, the University of Colorado Health, and I want to thank you for watching Community Checkup. I hope you learned as much today as I did about healthcare reform in this new marketplace that's online. I hope you join me in December. We're going to be on location at Old Town Fort Collins' favorite kitchen store, The Cupboard, where we're going to do some healthy holiday cooking. I'll see you then.